it's time again to enter the lab and answer a burning question. Let's head right on in. Here we go into the lab, close the door. And today's question that we're going to be answering is... How fast can you go? Well, let's head through and see. So the playing area has been modified a bit. Um, it's a lot longer than it was in the previous video. There it is. That's the end I can see there. So we're going to be working out exactly how fast you can go in Minecraft. Now there is a caveat to this. I want this to be survival speed because everyone knows that if you teleport, that's the quickest way. Blah, 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 blah. That's the quickest way, but that's boring. So as you can see in the bottom right of my screen, bing, 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 bing. There is a blocks per second calculator. And when I walk around, this goes like so. It's quite a simple one. We're going to see how fast we can get that number to be. So let's go for the very first thing here. How long has that been like that? Okay, walking. 4.32. That's an easy one. Right in there. Walking. 4.32. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's try running. 5.61. Okay, easy peasy. 5.61. That's where the easy stuff ends, and now we move on to the, the more fun stuff, I guess. First off, I'm going to try uh, sprint jumping, see what we can get. Uh, it's 8 point... I think it's 8.8-ish. .8 it's roughly 8.8, .8, but it's inconsistent, so I, I can't be exactly precise. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and this may seem like a weird one here, but I'm going to get some soul sand. And the soul sand is going to make a nice highway here. You're probably thinking, but jams, soul sand makes you slow. Well, that's where you're right. Unless I do this. We get soul speed three and we chuck it on our lovely gold boots. Just because nobody said it. Drip. Right, let's see. Let's see. First thing, just, just try walking. So we're walking at 6.97. That's pretty cool. It's not quite as fast as sprint jumping. Let's see what happens when you run. 9.06. Okay, that's fast. And sprint jumping? It's actually slower. So 9.06 is the soul speed 3 sprinting. Now, everyone knows that a nice way to move fast is swimming. But is it? Is it the fastest thing you can do? Well, let's find out. Okay, here we go. We have our nice water stream. Let's see exactly how fast we can go. So just plain swimming... 3.92. Not very cool. This is where we deploy the trick up the sleeve. So this is a dolphin egg. And if you don't know what a dolphin does, it gives you dolphin's grace. It makes you quicker in the water. Let's see if we can get any quicker. Go on. Yes, 9.8. Do I get 9.81? 9.8. Okay, so 9.8 is the fastest time to beat swimming with... Dolphins, Grace, 9.8, exactly. You okay? Oh dear, this isn't going to end well. Look away now. Okay, well that is as fast as you can go swimming, I'm pretty sure. I just remembered that there is a better way to sprint jump. So I'm going to be trying that out right now. That's right, it's the old bop your head on the block as you jump kind of thing. Now I will need to go into survival for this because I'm just going to end up flying if I'm hitting the space bar fast enough. Okay, here we go. Bopping on the head, looking in the bottom right. Ah! Okay, it's like a 9.2 and 9.3. <sighs> Doesn't quite beat swimming. But there is another upgrade I can do to this. That's right, it's blue ice. Let's see what we get here. Oh, wow! 17, 18? Oh, that's not long enough. That is not long enough. I'm going to need to extend that and then see where we're at. All right, this is way longer now. Let's see if we can get... An accurate number. And go. 17.7, I think I saw. I'm on the grass. Okay, I think it's a 17.7. I might just be making that up, though, because it's so inconsistent. 17.7. That is the fastest yet, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. So we're slowly beating our score. That is fantastic. Now, I think there's another way to improve this. Uh, <laughs> I know it feels like we're doing the same thing over and over, but I feel like there's another way to uh, improve this. I've made it double as wide, but that is not to make it any quicker. That is purely because I'm stupid and keep falling off. And I've added these trap doors. So, 17.7 to beat. Let's see if we can beat that with the trap doors. Oh, that was a 20. That was a 21. 24. 
I saw a 24 something. Come on. Okay, consistently 20, like 2.1. Well, I definitely want to see that 24 again. Oh, I've run out of hunger. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, it was a 24 point something, so I'm going to write down a 24. That's an insane way to get hungry really quick. I'm just going to put 24. Makes it nice and simple. I'm sure it's better than that. You can pause the video and find out, but I'm going to put 24. Now, just for sort of science sake, whilst I've got all this here, I'm, I'm going to go for the boat to see what the boat does. I'm hoping it's not quicker else. This all seems very pointless. Let's go with the boat. Okay, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh, and it keeps speeding up. We've we actually ran out of runway there. Okay. 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 I have extended the runway. Let's see. It's not even thinking about slowing down. It's still speeding up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to extend it even further. I don't know that I've got enough room in the test facility. Let's uh Alright. Let's go. 50. 60. Keep going out the end of the testing area. 66, 67, 68. And we still need more. We still need more. Wow. I know I said I was doing survival only, but just to compare, I'm flying at max speed here. It's 21.78. I know you can commands and change that and stuff, but like the default is a third, maybe even like a quarter of what we're going to be doing in this boat. Alrighty then. Dropping the boat. And count the number. 70. Yeah, 70. There it is. There's a village. It's still going up. It's still going up. I have to go through the village. That's the 70. Through the village. And I don't I don't think we're going to hit max speed here. No, we didn't even hit max speed. And I've gone all the way through the village and I've found another village. Okay. Fifth time's the charm. Or sixth or seventh or whatever try this is. It was still going. Okay. Come on. This time. This time. It's got to be this time. No villager. Oh, you ruined me run, brother. Please be no villagers. Through the first village, no villagers. 72 and a half blocks per second. Straight through the second village, 72.7. Okay, 72.72 is going to have to do. I'm not doing another thousand blocks in that direction. Okay, so uh, I haven't been recording since we did the boat on the blue ice. That's fun. So basically... I'm going to give you a quick run through very, very quickly of what I've done. Don't worry, it was the boring stuff. When you are wearing wings and you have a rocket, you travel at 35. When you fall from a height, it's 78.4. But if you're holding sprint whilst falling from a height, it's 78.6. There we go. Nice and easy, quick content. And now we're onto the fun stuff, which is the TNT. You didn't want to watch me just falling from the sky anyway, right? Right, let's go. TNT explosion time. Oh, that was into the hundreds. That was definitely into the hundreds. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's see exactly what that was. I'm going to check the replay. So that was 16 TNT. And we were going 125.83 blocks per second there. That is very, very fast compared to anything else we've done. I hear what you're saying. You're saying, oh, but that's not very survival friendly. That would just obliterate you into a million pieces. So I'm going to try it in survival. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, it didn't kill me. Interesting. We also didn't go nearly as fast. It was like 50 blocks per second. There's only one way to get faster than that, and that is to double up. So I'm going to hit the button. Hop on here. Oh, dear. That was in the 200s. That was definitely in the 200s. We haven't got as high as when we were falling, but that was in the 200s. That was awesome. Let's see exactly what those numbers were. Okay, so 32 TNT put us up to... 253.91 blocks per second. That is insane. That's pretty much doubling, which to be honest makes sense as it's double the TNT. Let's see if I can survive it in survival. Okay, I'm expecting this to be a no, but let's see. Oh, into survival. Oh, I'm on half. I was on half health. Doesn't count. Does not count in the slightest. Let's try that one again. And okay, you survive it. You definitely survive it. That was not as far, though. Let's see what the consistency is like, and maybe it's just a survival thing. Kaboom! Okay, I think you get launched less far if you're in survival. That is weird. I'm going to do some research. Okay, so a little bit of research, and it seems to be believed that the damage you take actually is like dampeners. It, like, it doesn't like it, right? So there's an easy fix around that. Blast protection is, is what we want. 
So now we should take a lot less damage and thus potentially fly higher and get a better score. Let's see. Let's go. Well, <laughs> that was cool, but it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. Uh, let's see what happens with actual regular protection. For all those Minecraft veterans out there that saw that coming and knew exactly what was going to happen, well done. I pat you on the back. I'm now trying with protection. Maybe you also know what is coming here. Huh. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't too bad, you know. I took no damage. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going for the triple layer, pressing the button and onto the box. Uh, this is so loud. Huh. Okay, so I took like one heart of damage. I think that is the quickest I'm going to get in survival. Because um, if I take more damage, then it slows me down. Blah, 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 blah. I think. I, I might be wrong. Please correct me in the comments. Because you probably know more than I will. The survival TNT launch with protection only got us to 64.69. Which is not that good. That's not even as fast as like falling. The TNT launching does scale up. However, it's just not that good in survival. Unless... The Orbital Cannon. We have created this monstrosity. It is the exact same thing as what we had on the floor. But instead of launching upwards, it launches downwards. So I sit in here. I press the button. These all drop down. And then a millisecond before the TNT goes off, this trapdoor disappears from underneath my feet. Firing me down into that lovely pool down there. Shall we see if it works? After I get rid of this, of course, because that could be very painful to land on. Right, we have our protection on. Press the button, drop down into survival, and... <laughs> okay, it didn't have quite the, uh, the desired effect. I think it actually slowed me down as it came out. Well, that was a big, big waste of time. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Oh, dearie me. The fastest way that we have achieved to move around is via TNT cannon, but making this survival friendly, the actual fastest way to get around is from the boat on the blue ice. I, I say that because it's the fastest way to get around. It, it's, it depends where you want to go because it's not really good for going uphill. The actual fastest way to move yourself in survival is literally by falling and holding sprint. I think that's a bit mental. Uh, and I'm probably wrong. So, um, I seem to remember there was something about ice on top of soul sand. I'm going to give that a quick go, and then we're going to wrap this video up. I think it's going to be exactly the same. I really don't think this changes anything. Yeah, that, that's it. It's pointless. So, thanks for watching. Um, that is the fastest way to get around, is by the old ice boat. Uh, hopefully some of the stats in here have helped you plan out how to build your base and design things as and where you want to. And I'll see you in the next video. Yay!